Capricorn, what is up? It is your girl Cat, and it is Tuesday. It's Earth Signs, so we're gonna be doing your love reading for the week. I just got back from Buffalo. Everything was really nice for Tony's service. His kids did such a good job. He's deeply missed, but okay. So Capricorn, what you got going on? All right. Oh gosh. I don't ever like to start a reading with three of swords of Capricorn. <laughs> oh no, okay. All right. Some of y'all going through it. I can see that right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Okay, Capricorn. Well, we start off with the three of swords, which is of course is like a heartbreak. Uh it could be a third party situation. Uh Got you all stressed out, anxious, sleepless nights all up in your head. Um, so, yeah. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is like watching and waiting. I think you're um, probably just found out some information that's not making you terribly happy, that's stressing you out. It could be that your person is uh, messing around or there's somebody else they're talking to or another person involved here. And uh, I think you're just kind of waiting to see how it's going to play out. You may be watching their social media, waiting to hear. Um, I, I, the feeling that I'm getting is it's up in the air right now. It's not decided. And the two of wands tells me that you have a choice to make um, as far as taking action because the wands are action, right? So you have a big decision to make here. You're at a crossroads regarding this relationship and your feelings. I do feel like you're trying to just take some time and think about how you feel and really search your, your heart. But yeah, I think there's two different people here. Yeah. Um. And I feel like, Capricorn, I feel like this is your energy. You know, you're just very... Um, focused on you and being the best version of yourself that you can be right now, you know, regardless of what's going on around you. You're trying to maintain that Empress energy about you, right? And you're moving forward here. For some of you, it, you're involved with a Cancer. Let's pull a couple more. I can't wait to clarify this. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of... Pentacles, Death card, a Tower, <laughs> the Lovers, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so cycles turning around. I think you're going to spend some time being independent, focusing on yourself. Could be involved with a Scorpio here, or you're just undergoing a big transformation after a Tower moment. See, I do feel like, I feel like you found out something that you didn't want to know about your person and it caused this big tower moment and you're just focusing on yourself right now and rebuilding and transforming. And then we have the lovers followed by the four of wands, which is like a happy, stable home life. So either this person is going to say they don't want to let you go or you're going to find your soulmate after you let this person go. So let's clarify and we'll find out what we got going on here, Capricorn. All right, so let's start off with this three of swords. Remember I said that's a third party situation possibly, but definitely a heartbreak. What's going on with that? Hanged man, okay. So there's some indecision on your part. I do feel like you found out some information and you're not quite sure what to do with it yet. Like I said, I feel like everything is up in the air that you haven't made a decision yet. But I do see that you're incredibly stressed out. Probably not sleeping at night. Yeah. You know somebody has done something deceitful to you. There's a sneaky mofo. So you know about it, but I think you haven't taken an action on it just yet, Capricorn. You're waiting for the right time. Yeah, you're taking a break and you're waiting for the right time kind of regaining your strength before you make a move. All 
you're watching somebody's social media, keeping an eye on somebody, and you're disappointed by what you found. So maybe you found some text messages, instant messages, something like that, with some information that you really want to see about somebody being dishonest and deceptive behind your back. Temperance jumped out, which is balance. You want to be more balanced. You don't you don't like being in this like emotional roller coaster. Yeah, I feel like you're taking some time out to just focus on yourself and kind of um I feel like introspective period, you know. So you found out that there's another person involved here and it's got you very like emotionally weighed down, feeling stressed out. Not being able to sleep at night, you know. What is this death card here for? I want to see why death is here. Hmm. Okay. Could be a Scorpio coming towards you. Um, big transformation. So after this transformation in this tower moment, there's going to be a lot of love coming towards you. Clarify the tower for me. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm, okay. And then show me the lover's card. Remember I said that possibly after this tower moment and this transformation, this new love was going to come towards you? Yeah, I do feel like it's somebody new. It's not this person that's cheating on you. It's somebody new. Yeah. So I feel like you're going to walk away from whoever this is with the third party. You're going to end this. You just haven't done it just yet. And then you're going to take some time to just focus on yourself. This can be a big tower moment. You're going to go through a transformation. And it's possibly a Scorpio headed your way. But it is a new beginning. And this is this is possibly your soulmate here. This is going to be a good connection. Yeah. And then the Four of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. This is like a strong, solid partnership coming towards you after... After this person. <laughs> All right, let's pull. I don't know. I feel like let's do these. So, yeah, whoever's cheating, kick, kick them to the curb because you got something better on the way. This jumped out. I'm trying to distract myself from thinking of you. Okay. I'm scared of being vulnerable with you. So this is somebody who is like afraid of their feelings, I feel like. They're not good with their emotions. I know I've let you down. Okay, so yeah, this person is just like, I feel like maybe a little emotionally immature. They don't know like what they want. They're afraid to be vulnerable. They're cheating. But after you let this person go, you got good stuff coming towards you. Okay. I feel like let's pull a couple of these romance angel oracle cards. Shuffle. Yeah, but once you let this person go and clear out that energy and heal a little bit, focus on yourself. You got something really good coming your way. It's going to be a great partnership, very solid. You have a great home life with this person, possibly a soulmate. Oh, okay. Three jumped out. So let's just take those. New love, didn't I tell you? You got new love coming. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Keep an open mind, okay? Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. And attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right, so yeah, after you clear house with this cheating mofo, this deceptive Seven of Swords person, you're going to have a really great connection with somebody. Um, a, a possibly marriage even. This is a soulmate coming towards you, Capricorn. So go ahead and let that person go. <laughs> All right, guys. That's what I have for you for this week. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that button. <laughs> Come on, guys. Help me grow this thing. All right. And um, let's see. I also did No Contact Tuesday today. 
and um, so I upload Earth Signs every Tuesday. My schedule got a little crazy, um, but I'm back on it. So look for me on Tuesdays, and that's what I have for you guys for this week. Till next time, take care.